So, welcome to the seventh tutorial of this series. I would like to do now the rotation around the y axis, not with our case, but with our mouse, left and right, and simply link the rotation to our mouse. Therefore, first I increase the terrain a little bit in its size. I will need for later a polarized float, I call it temporary y equals zero. And I also need a second variable bool, uh, I will call it is middle mouse down. And I set this initially to false. Yeah, to um, work with our mouse moving, I would need more event handlers. So the first one will be the mouse down. And I'm gonna call it on mouse down. Another one on mouse move and one on mouse up. Let's do first, okay. The first one, let's call it mouse move. Mouse down and mouse up. So, let's write the methods. The first one will be on mouse move. Once I'm moving the mouse, I would like to change our rotation y variable somehow linked to our mouse and I multiply this with our turn speed and this will already do some basic mouse rotation. Um, yeah, let's write the other two as well. Mouse down and mouse up. So we can already check if it's working. What's the problem? Uh -huh. So, on too much, I guess. Does this work now? Wall, mouse key pressed. No. But here is one missing still. Okay, now it should work. Yep. Okay, yeah, it's working already. We are rotating quite fast. Let's go a bit to the right. So I move to the left and I move to the right, and the terrain is rotating. But once I would leave this area and go a little bit to the right and enter the window again, it would jump somewhere randomly and I would need to find the terrain. This we're gonna fix. And another thing I don't like, I would like to freely move my mouse in our window and only once I press the middle button, um, actually moving around. So, how do we do that? First of all, once our mouse, middle mouse is being down, uh, then we call a switch e dot buttons, and for the case of mouse buttons um, middle, we need to set now is middle mouse button down to true and break here 
and the same thing we can call on once the mouse button is actually released to set the bool the boolean back to false. So once the is middle mouse down is set to true, only then our mouse uh, move mouse moving around should do the rotation. So if the middle mouse is down, then do the rotation. Let's check. So now I can freely move around and once I press the middle button, now I can rotate. But again, it jumped around, so I need to find it first. So again, jump. So I would not need to fix this somehow, and therefore I need a temporary variable to store it. So once our middle mouse, here's the move and here's the mouse down, once we press the middle mouse button, we initially save in our temp y, uh, we save actually this e dot x times the turn speed, plus what we also have to do is, oh, I didn't want to move it totally, I just wanted to copy it, plus um, we need to uh, initial root y. We need to keep temp y is actually the initial root y, yeah, minus this term. Um, and here we're gonna use then the temp y plus this term. So uh, what I'm doing here is. I set the temp temporary variable to the same value as our rotation um, uh, value and subtract uh, this e dot x times the turn speed on the spot where I press the mouse button. And this will be equalized by adding it back up over here and over here it's gonna change then um, constantly because the e dot x over here is as soon as I move around uh, changing but initially this one is minus so plus minus uh, will be zero and then it calculates um, everything right. Let's check it. I press the middle mouse button and now I can move to the right. I release it. I can freely move do some other stuff and now let's press it over here and see if it's jumping no no jumping let's press it here so wherever I wanna press it it seems to work yeah thank you for your attention um, for watching this video the next episode will cover now the up and down looking and then we are done with moving around in our three-dimensional world. Thank you very much.